Um, after a disappointing weekend at Notre Dame, how does the team bounce back with the games going forward? Uh, yeah, it was it was a disappointing weekend. Um, you know, I don't think we played well all weekend. You know, f Friday, Saturday, we didn't do a great job defensively. We didn't do a good job offensively. We didn't run the bases. Um, and then, uh, you know, Sunday we did a better job swinging the bats and played better defense and did a better job on the base pass. And then we didn't pitch it. And, you know, when you play, Notre Dame's a very good ball club. And when you go out and play a, um, a very good ball club like that and you don't play well, you're not, you're not going to give yourself a chance to win. Um, and that's, that's what happens. And um, I'm disappointed in it. And, and, um, and that's on me. If our boys aren't executing um, fundamental stuff that, um, you know, that we have been doing, that we know how to do, um, and, and we come out and don't play well for a weekend like that in a big spot, that's my fault. And, and um, so what do we do? We're going to um, get back to work today and kind of hit some more of those fundamentals. Um, kind of get back to the basics a little bit, remember um, sort of who we want to be and what it means to play bird ball and how it, how it means to go about our business doing that. Um, I, think, um, I think we got a little bit of ahead of ourselves um, wanting to talk about postseason stuff and instead of just, you know, playing one really good, hard, fundamental baseball game on Friday night and then doing it again on Saturday. I think um, I think the boys, we all got ahead of ourselves and um, and came out and, like I said, a weekend where we didn't play well. Uh, and, again, that's not to take anything away from Notre Dame. That's a good ball club. That, that's a team that's going to have a chance to make some noise in the postseason. Um, so we, we needed to go out there and play well for three games and see what happened. And we could have gone out there and played – well for three games and lost three games and um that might have happened but um but we didn't so um back to work on some fundamental stuff today um and then have some fun uh you know against a very good northeastern team tomorrow night trying to win a bean pot so that was the next question um you're going in defending the bean pot title against northeastern tomorrow um what can we expect in that game um just against a rival in northeastern yeah huge rivalry with northeastern huge game because the bean pot um, what do we expect is uh, I expect our boys to come out and play play the way that we want to play every game. You know, yes, it is a beanpot championship, but we want to play like this every day. Right? We talk about you know play hard, play smart, and have fun, and uh, playing really good good fundamental baseball, and um, that's going to be our biggest focus tomorrow night. Doing a a better job on all of the small things, right? Not doing anything. Extraordinary, just doing the ordinary things extraordinarily well. And that's what we want to be able to do every day. And so we didn't do this weekend. That's what we're going to focus on doing tomorrow night. Um, and then over the weekend, you open a month-long homestand against Louisville. Just talk about playing at home for such a long period of time and what it does for the team. Yeah, the boys are excited to, have, to be able to be at home for this long straight. Um, you know, the boys just love playing at home. Um, it's it's good to be able to kind of catch up on some schoolwork. It's good to be able to catch up on some sleep. Um, good to be able to get some some home cooking. Um, and it's always a time of year that we play great. We know that. Um, you know, especially when you look at you start with six weeks on the road. You know it's going to come back to you at some point. And this is when it comes back to us. Um, you know, so we do know that we're on we're at home for that long in a row. And but again, our we have to sort of narrow our focus a little bit right now. On um, you know, on just having one good at bat, just having, just making one good pitch, just executing one situational at bat, or getting down one bunt, or whatever it is that we're doing at that time. Um, you know, so that the month long homestand is is exciting. We're excited about it, but um, like I said, we got to narrow that focus. And finally, can you just talk about Louisville coming in? And um, they're always a really good squad, and just preview the weekend series. Yeah, Louisville, um, you know, when they came into the ACC, everybody knew um, they were a very good club. But for them to do what they did in our conference last year was amazing. Um, Dan McDonald is, a, is an unbelievable coach. It's an unbelievable program. Um, they have talent. They have resources. Um, you know, and we're excited to get them into the birdcage for the first time. Um, so, you know, we know, you know, they've got some premium draft picks both on the field and on the mound, um, and you know it's going to be a really good challenge for us. But again, for us <clears throat> to um, be able to win a baseball game on Friday, and then a chance to win a baseball game on Saturday, and a chance to win a baseball game on Sunday, for us to do those, 
um, the most important thing is um, is doing those small things well, and that's what we're going to focus on. <clears throat> Play hard on Friday, um, execute inning one, and then move on. And at the end of that day, kind of pick it up and see where you are. And if we do that, we'll have a chance to win three baseball games, you know, and, and then see, see how the weekend shakes out.